Hey guys, what's going on? Hey, goodnight here. Uh, I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on the Shop GUI plugin. As you can see, it is in 1.9. I am in 1.8 currently. Um, my IP will be in the, uh, the description if you'd like. Right here, you can already basically see the main things. Uh, it's really customizable. The spawner does, is not that easy. I'll show you guys how you can uh, add the spawner in, but uh, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on it. It is a premium plugin, so therefore you do have to buy it. But it is completely worth it. Don't get the Shop GUI free one. I honestly don't like it. There are other tutorials if you'd like to watch it. But I think I'm in pretty good description um, for mine. It does have a simple slash shop. Um, it's it's quite, quite nice instead of having to do like slash shop GUI. That's kind of not as fun for your players especially. Um, you can add anything you want instead of, you know, having to place those stupid signs. No one wants to have to keep doing that. But um, I think that it's it's really cool because you can even see in here that there's multiple pages and you can um, pretty much do whatever you'd like. I think that having a GUI, it makes things look so much nicer. So we're going to go ahead and hop over to... Um, the actually being able to see what it can do and and play with it a little bit so uh, let me go over to that all right so now that we're in the server itself um as it said you just do slash shop it's quite simple uh there's the blocks the food the ores the tools the armor the farming the mob drops dies and the miscellaneous i'm gonna go ahead and start with miscellaneous because you can actually buy spawners it is one of the little um, plugins that you can actually sell spawners in. So if you go ahead and hit confirm, it tells you a little confirmation price and you know, and it has, it, it's real nice. So you do actually need the plugin Silk Touch Spawners. Now you can place any type of spawner and it's, for me it says cave uh, spider spawn placed and broken, but that's not really what it, um, it, it actually is. So... To continue, if you go into blocks, there's multiple areas. There is a buy price for $100 or a sell price. You if you right click, you can see that you can sell it all or you can confirm, you can yeah, you confirm to sell it all. Um, it's going to tell me that I do not have any logs. So I'm gonna go ahead and get like, let's say a hundred, right? The only thing I do think is a little bit irritating is that if you were to go into here, they might've fixed it and you hit sell all, no, they didn't. It's going to leave you with this four, and unfortunately, if you remove it to one, you gotta get it up back to four. It's kind of a pain, but the sell all is kind of false advertising. So it does its job, it's great. It tells you what you sold or what you bought, or you bought and it's got um, the food, and this is actually very customizable. This right here is even customizable. You could change this to enchanted apple. You could change it to just a normal apple, whatever you'd like. So we're going to go ahead and hop over to the config. I'm going to show you guys how to make those spawners and put them in your shops or whatever you'd like. And um, yeah, so let's go, go ahead and hop over to the config file. Now that we're in the config file, if you hit go ahead and go into your plugins and shop GUI plus, the config file it's it's not really a config file. This is where you can actually change all kinds of your mater materials, and you can go um, go ahead. It, it's quite simple. So the go back, it's another star. There's a link on the uh, shop GUI right here. It there's a link down here on what you can what the what all of the requirements are and how the config shop and the language file. So if you go ahead and go down here, the stained glass, it's, it, as you saw, it's the confirm and cancel. It's quite simple because they're both red and green. If you go into shops, uh, it's very simple. You go ahead and hit the stone or you hit the quantity and the damage. Uh, buy price is 30, sell price is 8. It's in slot 6, but it's actually in 7. That's the 7th item over when you find, uh, find out, like, once you open up that new GUI, it's the seventh item over, but it's in slot six because I believe that they do slot six and then they do um, slot zero and then one, two, three, four. That's how they start. Now, if we go down, uh, it's basically all the same thing. It's got the different sections, but it also has the, um, 
you know, it, it's very organized and it, you have to make sure that it is the exact way that it is. So I'm going to go ahead and jump to the spawner. Now, they do have this for their file, their uh, link right here. It is in there and it tells you how you can make the spawners, which I think is very nice. But you do have to hit enter and I, I don't know if this is for those who make their own servers. If you, let's say, copy it, it's going to look the exact same because you went all the way back. So I think that's great. It's very nice. It's kind of a pain to do that instead of just, you know, going like this. But that it's the way it is. I mean, it, it's it's pretty much a light version of coding, I guess. And you can name the name whatever you'd like. The mob zombie. Make sure that the mob is exactly... Don't assume I assumed and I messed a lot of things up. So be careful. It is uh, 100,000 for me and the 10,000 to sell. So the type is an item. It's not spawner. I know that's kind of weird. But spawner is right here and you can change that to true. So that is, if that was a little bit fast, basically, all you got to do is uh, copy this, make sure that it's exactly how it looks um, from the shop GUI page, and that'll be in the description as well. Now, um, the, the drops, the mob drops, that's just another section, so don't worry about that. That's basically the miscellaneous and stuff. So that's the config file, and I really hope that you guys um, liked this tutorial. It went by a little bit quick, but I think that just having to do slash shop is a great um, thing for your server rather than placing those signs, as I mentioned before. Um, you can just have people pay for what they have to pay for. Sell price, 120 Buy price, you know, uh, it's right here. You put on your boots. There you go. You got some boots. I'm in creative mode, so therefore, you know, it's going to multiply it. So I hope that you guys like this tutorial. And I'm going to make a new one soon. I think that it's a great plugin for your server especially. Um, and I really hope that you guys like this tutorial. Please subscribe, like my video if you'd like. And <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video.